Hello, comrades. Kamisabro here with Making History Gold. Germany, limits of peace, let's play, blah, blah, blah. That's right. Over excitedness. <laughs> right. So, well, uh, as you guys remember from last time, we completely dominated Czechoslovakia in quite a disturbingly quick fashion. So, the question becomes, what next? Do we continue our domination, or do we take it to slow route? Well, I think it's quite obvious what we should do. Take over Luxembourg, of course! Ha <laughs> ha ha! Bam! Ha 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 ha! The shortest war that ever was! And now France has declared war on us. Join us, Hungary! And the United States declared an embargo on us. Join us, Hungary! Get in on this man. We're going to need all the help we can get. All right, let's actually see what my situation is, um, economically speaking. Oh, and, well, good thing Poland didn't get involved. We'll, uh, we'll leave them out of it for now. Uh, we're going to move some of our troops to the north to protect that border. Where's my fleet at? Did I already port it? I think I did. Yeah, good. 20 ships in port in Bremen. So, France says, ha, vive la France. We should probably bomb it. How much uh, fortifications do they have? A pretty decent amount. So, yeah, we're going to bomb that army. Uh, we're probably not going to attack. It's a little bit too strong. That would be a huge risk on our part that we would probably lose. Uh, France, France, France. Okay, so UK hasn't declared war on us. Of course, of course. They're not ready for this. They don't want none of the fudge that I am packing over here. <laughs> totally gay. Anyway, um, so we're bombing the French forces in Alsace-Lorraine, the Maginot Line, as it were. Uh, we're going to move this army here, the Third Corps. Oh, it's already, okay, never mind. It's already in Württemberg. So it's where we where we need it. Yeah, yeah, it's protected. What about the fifth corpse? I think I'm going to leave that over there because you never know. Poland might declare war on me, and not having anything at all over there could be absolutely devastating. Not to mention our good old pal Stalin might find it necessary to bring down Poland. And as such, we don't exactly want to leave our borders open to his uh, special kind of influence, if you know what I mean. So let's take take a look, see what's going on in Alsace, Lorraine. Okay, okay, we've destroyed three divisions. We've lost an airplane. Okay, and five divisions it is. We'll just keep popping down some interns. Salzburg has been upgraded to advanced. Sweet bubbly beans. Should we? Are we already doing research? Yes, we sure are. Um, let's go ahead and get medium tanks. It's 1938, and I'm lagging a little bit behind. As far as I normally do. Oh, uh, we are just destroying them. We've taken out 12, uh, 12 divisions so far. The French don't even... They are not ready for this. No, they are not. Oh, there we go. we got improved infantry. Awesome sauce. And the British have now declared war on us. And joined the French. And attempting to bring us down. Well, let's go ahead and start importing as much oil as we possibly can from the United States to prepare for the eventuality of no oil at all. Mm, it's gonna hurt, man. It's really gonna hurt. Am I still not, like, maxed out in some of these places? Doesn't look like it, no. No, I'm not. Alright, so, what's our... We've killed 16 divisions so far. I think I've lost two, two squadrons. Three, maybe? Yeah, maybe three. No, two. I don't know. I've lost a couple of squadrons. Needless to say, we definitely are killing a lot more than we're losing. Oh, man. As I talk. As I speak, I lose things. Now the French are actually patrolling the skies of Alsace Lorraine. And we're being bombed! Ah! This is terrible in Gutland. And the Rhineland. Both in 
Romania, thankfully, has sent some occupational troops to help us defend our territories. So what we're going to do is we are going to patrol Gutland uh, to ensure that these airplanes do not dominate us too thoroughly. And I actually, I think I'm going to move the 5th Corps over to the west, possibly, possibly. I'm going to upgrade more of my areas, though, to make sure that we have uh, good defensive positions, uh, relatively good anti-aircraft fortifications to shoot down any wayward planes that might make our lives difficult. Yes, 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 yes. We've got some pretty heavy fortifications already, so... I'm not overly concerned about what we're getting. I feel like we'll be pretty good. Uh, damn it. They're killing us. We've lost two divisions for the one... Uh, three divisions. Uh, okay, good. We didn't lose anymore. All right, so the French are bombing Gutland now. They brought in their basic fighters to assist. Where's my airplanes at? We're going we're gonna to start patrolling. Nope, no, no, no. Patrol. Patrol. Patrol Gutland. All right. So we have a pretty decent number. Oh, fuck. Oh, that is painful. Oh, they've got too many fighters. Way too many fighters. Oh, that really hurt. We just lost a giant chunk of our Air Force. So the uh, it seems like the Allied powers are quite effectively um, kind of putting our Air Force out of commission. As far as land armies go, though, we, we have them. Like, we have a stronger land army. Um, but my troops are not concentrated in one area. Uh, and as such, basically, they're more effective at bringing me down uh, from a distance, which they are currently doing quite effectively, might I add. Oh, uh, man, this, this, this is painful. This is very painful. Plus, they've got their fleets in the south there and the Mediterranean that they're bombing us with, these little these uh, aircraft carriers they've got. That we don't really have a defense against. That sucks, but I'm not overly concerned about it. So far, uh, for, you know, though, I'm sitting here complaining about all these bad things that are happening. This really isn't a bad start. We're, uh, we're doing okay. We're still alive. That's what's important here. Uh, we may be getting a little bump, just, just a little bumps to the face. You know, not too many bumps to the face. Just a few here and there. <laughs> we're we're at least we're still alive, and the uh, the Romanians are doing a really good job of backing us up. Look, they're patrolling our skies, try to give us some assistance. So at least we are not alone in the fight. The Italians are getting involved as well. So our buddies are pretty much looking out for us, as far as that goes. If, however, the Italians would get involved and the South attack through Provence there. Or even uh, Burgundy, we would be much better in the long run. That would be nice. But hey, what can I say? Beggars can't be choosy, right? right? Yeah. But anyway, so I'm building light artillery here in Mons to uh, basically shoot down some of these evil, evil little airplanes that are kicking my ass. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's pretty straightforward there. Let's see what we're actually dealing with in terms of alliance. Uh, it looks like on the eastern front we are perfectly fine. This will not be a two-front war, uh, which is good, obviously, because if it was, we wouldn't be able to handle it. Um, however, our, Ger uh, our German, our African holdings are being conquered by the Allied forces which is not really that big of a deal. As long as the United States doesn't get involved, we'll be okay. Um, we have more industrial capacity than both France and England, barely passing England, mind you, uh, but definitely far more than France. We have plenty of allies, uh, with definitely with the largest armies in the world, even if they are slowly being whittled down by lots and lots of bombers. <laughs> You can't always win, right? But we're going to merge the 2nd and the 4th Corps to have a more stable defense against these airplanes. There we go. Bam. We lost a tank, but we shot down a fighter. So maybe that'll get them to piss off and leave us alone for a little bit. We'll just keep fortifying these areas here um, while we do that. I'm even probably going to... Let me find a place that's producing arms. Okay, I guess Leipzig. 
Nipstig will do that one. And we'll swap that over. Um, I want to get... Yeah, I'm going to keep building some more light artillery. I want to get improved fighters before I start building a bunch of airplanes. Um, oh, look at that. Bam, we shot down two planes. Beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, beautiful. We shot down two squadrons of planes. Three squadrons of planes in two weeks. That's awesome. So it looks like our anti-aircraft fortifications did work out pretty well. Um, you know, we were taking kind of a beating there for a while. But it looks like we've we've evened the tide against them, and we've we've killed a lot of this stuff. Now we still have this basic submarine group here in the uh, Dogger Bank, so we know what's going on over there. I wonder where those airplanes. This I'm I'm gonna move that up there to the Norwegian Sea, because I'm trying to figure out where the fuck that airplane's coming from. That dude right there, where is he coming from? Maybe over here? No, you know what? I bet it's the English Channel. I'd put money on it. Let's go check. Let us go check, shall we? Oh, shit. Yeah, they were not happy with us. They caught us. See, look. Yeah, that was definitely... But that's where it was coming from. It was definitely coming from the English Channel. Um, <clears throat> our good old buddy, the UK there, is doing pretty good at bombing the UK's fleet. We're going to bring in our Air Force as well. To give them some support since we have more bombers. So we'll work together in unison with a total of 10 bombers and bomb the ever-loving piss out of their navy. Yes, 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 yes. So let's go ahead and move up our artillery pieces. Get them into um, merged with the 3rd Corps there. Alright, perfect. Alright, did the British fleet leave? Oh, no, we sank it all. Good freaking shit right there. We sank six ships with our Italian brethren. Yeah, that's right. That's beautiful. That's a that's a great start. And uh, we've got a... Oh, shit. The French have been building their army. Oh, shit. Oh, that's huge. Oh, man. Oh, God. Look, see, that's what you get for not paying attention, right? All right, so it looks like that I'm not being aggressive enough with the French. I'm about to swing my uh, military into full gear and we're going to pump out. We're going to show these guys what true industrial power is, baby. That's right. We are going to... Ooh, ooh. Um, I'm pumped up now. We're about to get these guys. Because if we don't, uh, this could be a possible uh, defeat. <laughs> an, an, early, an early death, as it were, for the, uh, the German Empire. The, the fourth or the third Reich, man. We, 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 we want to survive here. But it's not looking very good. Let's move these guys in to the Rhineland. Got some improved infantry. Built some more tanks. Yugoslavia has joined the British. Uh-oh. That could be a problem. They literally have a border. All right. So what we're going to have to do now. Damn. Twist and turns nothing but them. We're going to send our tank in there to Carniola. We're going to send our entire air force to Osmark. And we are going to try to plop down some conscript infantry as fast as we can to hold that hold that gap just in case that tank fails, uh, which it very well might. Being by itself, we'll send in some air support and we'll send in the secondary tank here to Carniola. That should be enough to actually conquer the province, isn't it? Nope, it's not. Well, they've got quite a few airplanes waiting for us, don't they? So we're going to go ahead and move those troops in. We're going to swap back over to goods so that we're not losing, we're not hemorrhaging too much money. Uh, I'm going to send those guys in there. I'm going to go ahead and send these two improved infantry over there as well just to give it some support. It shouldn't really need much, and we'll send these two tanks, split them up. Which one's the bigger army? The one on the bottom. Okay, so we're going to send the Air Force in there. Boom. Take that out. And Yugoslavia is about to be a giant German province as far as I'm concerned. Let these blackguards, that's what they get for fighting against us. Fighting against the might of Germany. Germany. Alright, bomb them. Bomb them. Bam! Look at that. Bam! I'm going to deny their independence for now. I don't want anybody but Germany. There will be only one Germany! Actually, shit, the Yugoslavian army is actually pretty uh, decent size there. Mm, I wasn't expecting that. 
I wasn't expecting much resistance from the Yugoslavians. Look at that. We're still shooting down enemy airplanes that keep flying over our lands. You know, I could actually deploy the Navy and probably do some serious damage there, but I'm not going to. I'm going to hold it back for now. I'm going to hold it back. And uh, how's our army doing? Oh, they killed our army. What? Oh, that's bullshit. All right, well, I guess we're not going to get uh, Serbia. It looks like it's going to go to our Romanian allies if it gets taken over. I'm okay with that, even though it's, you know, the most useful province in that entire, like, country there. That's all right. I don't mind uh, Romania being a little bit more powerful. They're, uh, they're nice people. They've been doing good for the war efforts, even if they're slacking off right now. Dude, the French army is giant. Like, I didn't realize the French army was this big, but they are fucking giant. And that's terrifying. <laughs> because... Like, they weren't supposed to be that big. Look at that. There's 48 divisions there. And it's getting bigger by the turn. So that's that's a lot bigger than it should be. Not that I can't handle it. I have enough troops if I converge on that position. I should be able to take it. Uh, hopefully. I'm not going to, like, don't swear me to that now. But I should be able to take it if all the uh, the all seasons are correct, uh, sir, if you know what I mean. So we're going to go ahead and end two turns there. We lost control of Bosnia to Serbia. Whatever. Take it back. Take it back. Bomb the partisans. It looks like the Romanians are having a little bit of trouble. We'll send in our guys to assist them. Hopefully. Damn you, Italy. Oh, you bastards. Oh, bastards. Snaking bastards. Mm, that hurts. It hurts my soul. I hate when that happens. Because now I have this big giant ugly fucking blob in the middle this green blob right dead center in the middle of my land and it's so ugly ah oh, those bastards that's one of the <laughs> one of the problems when you're playing with computer players is they have no qualms with marching right through your lands and taking all of your shit bunch of turds uh 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 shame shame on them but whatever I guess we'll just have to live on. Live and let live, as it were. Live and let live. And bam, we are at turn 150. So that was 50 turn interval there. And this is where we'll end the video for today. Thank you so much for watching, comrades. I hope you've enjoyed this little fight. This is getting good. It's getting good. Like, look, the German army has mobilized, baby. Look at that, 609, 624. And that's like, that's, uh, what, 58 divisions, not counting the one in Gutland. 15 divisions there with another 163 attack. And it's getting bigger by the week. That's right, and Serbia is about to be my bitch. You know, maybe, possibly. Or Yugoslavia, that's who that is, not Serbia. Let's go ahead. Oh, what am I doing? I can't. I can't end any more turns. Anyway, I'm getting, see. I'm getting distracted, ladies and gentlemen. I'm getting distracted. All right. So anyway, this is Big Commissar Pro. Tune in next time for more Germany limits of peace making history gold edition. That's right. See you next time, guys.